Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Ultima 6. I've hence played around with the music and sound a little bit. Uh, even according to the install, you can only get sound effects through the PC speaker, which this computer does not have an eternal speaker. Welcome to 2011, motherfucker. I have, however, changed the music to Roland Sound, which is pretty much the best quality music you could get back in the day. You see a sly-looking fellow, dressed in rags. Hello, my good man. He glances around quickly to see if anyone seems to be listening. I'm Lord British, but don't tell anyone. I'm in disguise so I can mingle with the commoners. Very convincing, don't you think? I've met it myself. Of course, nobody would dare say anything bad about me to my face. Nobody except chuckles anyways. But as a beggar, people would tell me just about anything. He's in disguise too. You know, he's really Blackthorn. I decided banishment was too harsh for him, so I brought him back and made him my jester. The real Chuckles is tied up in my dungeons. I got tired of making him making fun of my nose. I'm Lord British and I can do whatever I want to. Oh, I know all about that, but I think you'd be better off if you learned about it on your own. All right. If you need me later, I'll be at the blue board disguised as a tavern keeper. But I won't admit to it if you ask me. Too many people might hear. You see Shimino smiling. An unusual sight. Noticing your attention, he uh, says, Perhaps there's a little of Lord British in us all. And of course, Shimino is actually uh, designed to look like Richard Garriott, Lord British in real life. Very, very close looking. All right, well, I propose that we go to one of the shrines right away. You see a sharply dressed, very voluptuous woman. Hello, my name's Terry. I run the mint. Say, aren't you the avatar? Yes, I recognize you from your portrait. My mother used to tell me stories about you when I was a girl. You probably wouldn't remember her, but she was at the big celebration right after you recovered the codex. Anyways, I tell her I just wanted you to know I always hoped someday I'd meet a man like you. By royal decree, I am the only one allowed to mint the official coinage of the realm. Couple pins, silver pieces, and gold crowns. They're all made right here. My father ran the mint before me, but I get lonely here sometimes. It's so nice you come by to talk to me. Kaiden would never believe it when I tell him I got to meet the Avatar in person. You must be the bravest man I've ever met. I can't believe it's really you. Britannia has been so prosperous lately, there's been a lot of demand for gold coinage. Of course, you have to thank for bringing us the Codex and saving Lord British. I get most of my gold from people who bring in nuggets to exchange them for coins. Do you have any no gold nuggets you'd like to trade in for crowns? Shit, yeah. Normally, there's a 10% tax on exchange. But since you're the Avatar, I'll give you a full hundred crowns for every stone weight of gold you have. She exchanges all of your gold nuggets for newly minted crowns. I know you're very busy saving Britannia and all that, but I hope you come visit me again. And maybe if you have time for it, I could show you a few... I could show you more than a few silly coins. As you turn to leave, she pinches you. Avatar, she wants your cock. Of 
course, you can talk to Iolo here. And say help to him. He can gather all the gold together or split it up. Five hundred and sixty seven gold. Iolo, make sure he's got enough, uh, yeah, plenty of boats. We're going to come back and explore Britannia more. I just want to hit up the Shrine of Compassion real quick. between the MIDI and the Roland sound. Honestly, I don't know. The Roland's a little bit more, so, a little bit more, I don't know, less robotic-y, I guess. Whoa! Never mind, just got my ass handed to me. That's fucking great. I'm glad you guys let the big demon gargoyle kick the shit out of me in my magic armor. Alright, let's try that again. Big gargoyle here? What the fuck? Ah, you know what? Totally forgot I need to, uh, get the runes first. Back to Britannia!
see a buxom woman who looks hard-working and yet contented. Good morning, my lord, and welcome to the Blue Ball Tavern, not to here for business or pleasure. I am Anya. Aria, Ariana is the light of my life. She seems scarce learned to walk when she first showed a gift for music. She studies now with the balls of the conservatory. All right. Well, tis time I was back to work. We need to go find her daughter in the conservatory. Guy needs to go the fuck away. You see that cute little girl with short hair? My parents tell me never to talk to strangers, asshole. What's your name? Okay, now I can talk to you. She curtsies gracefully. Ariano's my name. I have the rune of compassion, isn't it pretty? She reaches into her pocket and takes it out to show you. Do you need it for something? Yes. Are you on an important quest? Yes. I'm not supposed to let anyone else have it, but if you truly need it, I don't know what I should do. I know. My parents run the Blue Ball Tavern. Go ask them if you can borrow the room. So let's go get Mom's permission. Or you can kill her and take it. She pauses a while in thought. Very well. Thus does have an honest face. I grant thee permission. I'm just talking to this jester to change that music. I think I'm going to go back to MIDI. That one song is fucking annoying. I'm just going to get a straight up ad lib. Yes, bitch. Hand it over. Then here you are. 
She hands you the room. I wish you the best of luck on your quest. Thanks, hooker. What do you mean? I mean you're a hooker and you're a hooker in training. All right, now we have the rune of compassion, so we can go free it. Let's head back over there. Shit splat on the grass. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking kill that guy. If you haven't watched my uh, Savage Empire walkthrough, let's play, make sure you do. That's of course on the same engine as this. Jesus Christ, it's another big bad boy. I should glass sword this motherfucker. He wants to hug it out. He wants to hug it out. Gargoyle bastard. Holy shit, that was close. two-handed sword. So now at this point you must speak the mantra of compassion, which is Mu.
Oh, didn't mean to do that. All right, let's try this again. Talk to the shrine. As you kneel before the altar of mystical voice, sounds in your head. Thou's task much to learn about compassion. Do you wish to meditate at this altar? Yes. Speak the mantra of compassion. Moo. 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 Moo moo. No beast so fierce but shows some touch of pity. Sweet mercy is nobility's true badge. There is not else for you to learn here. And now, return when thy journey has progressed further. Ayolo has gained a level and dexterity. I don't know how I don't have any fucking experience. Something is truly amiss about that. looking gentlemen. Greetings, my lord, and welcome to the town of Cold. How am I to assist thee this fine evening? I am the Viscount Armand, and thy name is... Ronstock. Well met, my lord. No, but seriously, how do I have zero fucking experience? Gonna rest. serious you're not getting medical attention I'm looking for something to kill on my own
poor British with a glass sword. Apparently not. I remember there was a way to kill him. I just shattered a fucking glass sword over his dome piece, though. find something to kill quickly. I'm becoming irritated. sellers come on where the fuck is everything Jesus Christ skinny, awkward, ugly-looking motherfucker wearing boots that come up past his knees. <laughs> Welcome to the finest sewers in Britannia. You look like you need a nickname, so I'll call you Ducks. See you around, old duck. experience. So why did I have zero again? Did I lose it all? I'm gonna have to experience some more. You will have to bear with me while I learn the nuances of the game. It has been quite a while. Anyways, we will continue our adventure in another video. Stay tuned. <laughs> 